What's up YouTube, main man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always. Uh, and now I'm gonna watch hopefully a funny video. I'm going into this blind. I haven't watched it yet, but I posted a video uh, like a week ago, I think, on this is why Leroy is still a problem. Maybe you've seen some of those videos. I talk about characters who I think should be nerfed, you know, that are just a little bit too strong. Leroy was one of them, and apparently this is a video from a YouTube user who's critiquing my video. He, I think he does not feel he should be nerf, nerfed. A uh, nerf. <laughs> the video is video response to main man Swiss. This is why Leroy is still a problem, and I think it's gonna be funny just from seeing the first second. Da, da, da. So yeah, basically, it's a, it's like a horror movie. How dare main man say that? Please let me know if there are audio problems. So I, I'm guessing he's going to speak so that you can hear both of us. Oh is my god. Is Leroy still a problem? And you bet your ass he is. He's been nerfed multiple times. Uh, oh, it's me. To a great extent, I would say. But he's still a huge problem and needs to be toned down even more. Even more. <laughs> yes, yes, he, he needs to be toned down. We know he is extremely popular. He's top five in terms of character pick rates online. What? No, we have a date on that, actually. And it's very hard to backdash as well, because it has better range than the Mishima Hell Sweep as well. I mean, uh, what does he base that on? Oh. It actually hits... I'm whiffing. Yes, I, I I had it whiff a lot. That happens when I do my recordings. I do them on the fly, live, and sometimes I get stuff like that. Uh, it has to do a little bit with the character I'm going up against, their idle stance, you know, how far do, does their, their feet um, hang out in the neutral idle stance. But uh, yeah, his health sweep hits really, really far. It hits further than the Mishima health sweep. All over the place. I'm whiffing all over the place, but no, it happens. hits very far. <laughs> okay, so the counter argument here is that I record a video, I, due to doing it live with no edit, miss it a bit, hence, haha, ha, main man has no point, but you can actually measure the distance in the game and see that it hits very far. And it certainly hits very far for a homing hell sweep that is 18 frames fast. That's two frames faster than the Mishima hell sweep, with no execution also. Uh, Again, this is a safe mi mid homing move, which is plus 11 on a natural hit. Note the range. Note the range. Oh my god! Wow! Oh my god! Uh, so that's worth taking into consideration when you but talk about space control. But can I? I, I don't get it. Well, was that a critique on what I said about the range? I mean, anyone. Note the range. Note the range. Is this bad range? That is insane range for a plus 11 homing mid. That's not a high, that's a mid. Oh my god! That no! wall splat. Oh my god! Uh, so that's worth taking into consideration when you talk about space control. Can at any time pimp cane the opponent? Homing, long range, very fast. But, but I, I said that, two, two. I, I literally said you can use it only one time. Everyone knows he can use it only one time. 
but that's, th that's still a very, very good move that your opponent has to have in their head. And it's, it's a move a lot of people forget about. Because a good Leroy, he holds that. And maybe in the third round or fourth round. Oh, Pimp Kane, it hits from super far away. Uh, you know, it's, it, in terms of range, it's, it, it's his longest range move. That's mid. Um, and it's also homing. It, it tracks fully to both sides. And it's a class 1 launcher. For, it does 35 damage, the launch alone. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's an incredible move. And yes, he can't do it all the time, but I never said that. If he could do that move all the time, I mean, we wouldn't even need to have a conversation. That would just be dumb. With, it, with its disgusting tracking. Mm. So the thing is, no one uses forward 2-2 two, two at, at that range. They use different options. Forward 4-2-2 four, two, two has its tracking when you're like one or preferably two backdashes away. That's when a good Leroy uses that, when you try and sidestep from that range. Because it's like a universal rule in Tekken that forward dashing attacks have tracking, built-in tracking, but not when you stand like this. That's not when that move is used. The Leroy will use down forward one and other tools to keep you in check. So forward forward two two, it's a little bit like his Heihachi forward forward two. They are two steps away and you place it and then it's going to be hard to sidestep it. It can still be stepped, but you have to be very on point with the sidestep. Uh, why does he have an orbital? Why does fuck... Uh, yeah, why does he have an orbital? It, it just ties into this, and I wish he would explain more what he means with all of these points, but... Why does he have an orbital is born out of a question of, or of a situation where he has everything. When he has an orbital, why does he have a hell sweep? Why does he have Horang's down free two? Why does he have a second orbital from his hermit stance? That's zero on block. Why does he have a, an 11 frame back one, just like Feng Wei, or Feng Wei's 10? Why does he have a 10 fr frame uh, counter hit uh, string <laughs> for a million damage? Why does he have 4 4 2 2? Why does he, you know, I could go on forever. Why does he have down forward 1 with extensions? Why does he have this, this, this? Why does he have everything? That's why I ask, why does he have an orbital? Why does fucking Ram have an orbital? Why does fucking Ram have a health sweep? Why does fucking Ram have every punish, punisher in the game? Why does he have down forward 1 extensions? Why does he have a standing 13 frame free? It's why do these characters, these new DLC characters, have everything? Why are they built to win with no effort? I thought we had left that behind. I thought that was Tekken 6. These days, it's more about Akuma, Geese, Jay, and Steve. Characters who require incredible execution, but due to that are allowed to be a few percent stronger. And then this happened. That is why I'm asking, in, in short, why does he have an orbital? Akumram have an orbital? No one knows. Back to parry, say no more. Uh, why is the follow-up safe? You know, if you mess up the parry, you go 2-2-2, two, 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 you know. It's safe if your opponent blocks. The oh, sorry, I forgot. Why does he have that parry? Follow-up, it's safe. A little mistake. Okay. <laughs> That's the moment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Absolutely. If if you're being predictable with the parry, a good opponent can just watch you do that and launch you. Absolutely. But this is where you're cherry picking this situation. What? can also happen is that you do, let's say, an orbital and the opponent tries to jab check you and you parry and blah, 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 blah in their face. You get a lot of damage. If a move they do is, you know, 
sluggish enough on recovery, you can actually launch them with down forward two. So it's, uh, this is where, again, I'm saying, why does he have everything? Certainly, the parry, if predicted, uh, or predictable with it, you can launch Leroy. But don't you think it's still an asset to have that parry? To be able to do that? Isn't that an asset that your opponent has to keep in mind when fighting your Leroy? That I don't know if I can jab check here even though he's minus. Because he could be parrying. And that parry catches everything including bullets from in-game item revolvers. So again, I ask you, is that not a, a big plus to a character that already has thousands of plus marks? to his name. Is it really as negative as, as you're trying to paint it here? This parry, which is even more problematic in my opinion, you see this move? It's minus six, so it's perfectly safe. Minus six is not too bad. That has a built-in parry. You see? That does quite a bit of damage and gives Leroy Plus 28. You see? Plus 28. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh, my, my fucking YouTube uh, plaque fell down. But you know what? Uh, I've been predicting this. Uh, it's so nice to catch it live and in a vi video recording. Uh, the hanging mechanism is giving way on my lovely... Five million dollar studio wall. So I've actually placed, uh, you didn't hear KABRAM! Because I actually placed a pillow below. And I, I almost want to show this on camera. It fell perfectly onto the pillow. Uh, so yeah. Look at that Okiseme ground game on main, man. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to have to buy some, a new mechanism to to hang it. Apparently the hermit stance is too good. Its moves should be more punishable so that nobody uses it ever again. Hmm. Uh, and then we have a super dumb back one plus two. I don't have to introduce this move. This is the infamous 12 frame counter hit mid. And this is where, you know, with everything you say about Leroy, and then you have stuff like this, and I wonder how he, what he's going to do now. It's probably going to be a funny meme or something. But having a 12-frame mid-counter-hit launcher is just simply changing Tekken. You know, that's just against the rules uh, of classic Tekken. You know, Downford 1, that's the fast... Keep him honest, universal mid check. And now you have a 12 frame mid counter hit launcher that is safe on block. Do you know how much utility that has and potential? It's like 12 frame counter hit launching mid. Of course it was nerfed to minus nine, but still it's safe. Yeah. Why does he have a homing house sweep? I wonder if he understands, like, if he just thinks, you know, one step ahead and says to himself, why does it have limited range? Is it still, isn't it busted even with the limited range? What if that move had twice the range? It's like, it, it's 12 frames fast. If that had range, it, the game would be utter, utterly, utterly unplayable. Why is this parry safe? Uh, Hermit 50-50 is really good. Does the orbital still need to be as strong as it is? It still has the Think critical and use your mind. Thanks for watching. Okay. You should do that. Always be critical, everything you hear. And I try to say as often as possible that what I present on my video is my on my videos, it's my opinion. And I know that a lot of people don't like my opinion. But I really dislike when people say that I'm not allowed to have an opinion. 
That, that's, that, to me, that's just dumb. And I, I really like the fact that he's trying to counter here. But, yeah, don't buy into this man's bullshit. Well, at least I'm trying to explain my point of view. I, I'm trying to use reason behind everything I say. I don't just give an opinion. I say, this is why I feel this way. So I, I feel like, yeah, this individual was maybe a little bit too... Uh, um, What's the word? He, he did not explain his position too well, in my opinion. I would have liked to hear more why he feels a certain way. Uh, but I can only agree here. Like, think critical. Everything I say to you guys, take it with a you know, pinch of salt. Make up your own mind. I am just presenting my point of view, and that's it. Uh, yes, and that was a good watch. It was funny at some places. Uh, so thanks for... Thanks for listening to me. Take care, everyone.